Shuttle Wong, Shuttle Wong, all right? Before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakai Kodash, Dumb Honest to the Apostles and Elders, a great millstone that rule will, all right? Peace and salutation to the Akim that's pushing his word in truth and sincerity, all right? Waking up the hopeful elect, Shuttle Wong, all right? Um, this is the brother Zion Ama from the GMS Detroit Black Camp. Come to you another know, video through the spirit, you know, just kind of meditating, you know, on the Lord, all right, and what 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 people general generally think of the Lord, as in the Heavenly Father, the Most High, Yahweh, all right, because um, uh, basically, simply put, you know, the Heavenly Father, He's a man of man of war, as the scriptures say, and I'm gonna get it, all right, and you know. <laughs> Basically, the world, they don't, they're not prepared for what the Heavenly Father has in store, all right? Your, your understanding, all right, the world's understanding of the Heavenly Father and His Son, all right, has been, has been, uh, been falsified, all right? You've been misled through Christianity, all right, to think that the Heavenly Father is all love and nothing else, you know? You know, because you hear, you know, Christians, right? The Christians, they'll say, you know, God is love as if he, he has no other attributes, no other characteristics to him, which is, you know, that's that's an eye, you know. If you have other, you know, or multiple different emotions, why wouldn't the Heavenly Father, you know, being he's the one that created you, you know? But yes, the Heavenly Father, he is a man of war. He is as Jake say about that smoke, all right? That's why the Lord judges, you know? The Lord judges, meaning, you know, he uh, he he rules, okay, according to, basically, uh, according to your doings. If you're doing wickedly, all right, okay, you're going to receive judgment for that. As the scriptures say, uh, basically, whatever you sow is what you reap, all right? And that's why the so-called white man, Esau Edom, is going to be ultimately destroyed all right that's why america is going to be judged that's why it's going to be burned okay with thermonuclear fire all right because the heavenly father is about this smoke he is about all right paying vengeance all right he is about judgment okay he is heavenly father yahweh which that's just what his name means he is he exists he's everything all right but um yeah you know in the world they're not prepared all right, they don't have the foresight to see that even as we speak, all the, all the commotion that's having happening in the earth is the Lord's judgment. You know, when you say the word crisis, this is a crisis type situation. All right, that's basically a Greek word for judgment. All right, and who who administers the judgment? The Heavenly Father through His Son, Yahweh All right, so um, real quick, you know, I'm just doing this video through the Spirit. Whatever precepts come to mind, that's what I'm gonna pull out. All right, but um, this is uh, Exodus 15 and three. It says the Lord, which that 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 word or that name, as as it, as it were, Lord in capital. All right, is actually the Heavenly Father's name, so it will be Yahweh. All right, so Exodus 15 and three, Yahweh is a man of war. Yahweh is his name, God, meaning. Hey, that's his reputation. That's what he's known for. You know what I'm saying? In your name, there's there's a reputation, you know, that's established. All right? Now, mind you, this is the same power that flooded the whole earth. Let you know, hey, the Lord is just about to. He's about judgment. All right? On a, on a grand scale. There ain't no onesie, twosie type thing. The Lord judges nations. All right? So, yes, the Heavenly Father, he is a man of war, meaning he's he's good at it, he's skilled at it, all right? He, he's the creator of it, you know? And so if the Heavenly Father is, what, what, what you think his son is to be? You don't think his son would be basically likening to his father, seeing that his father created his son? You know what I'm saying? As the saying go, you a chip off the old block, right? I mean, you're just like your daddy, you know what I'm saying? You're, you're just like your father in many ways. All right, so real quick, this is, um, uh, what is that? What did it say? Ventures is mine. I think that's in Isaiah. Let's see if I'm spending this right. 
just so that I can have that. Vengeance, vengeance. Let's see. So like yeah, like I said, I'm just doing this through the spirit. Uh God, this is um Isaiah 63. Alright. And dealing with alright, Yahweh Shai, alright. Like I say, just as the Father is, the Son is also. So when Yahweh Shai, who the word it only calls Jesus, alright, he's not coming back, you know, as some sweet old uh uh white, you know, soft you know, loving power, all right? The Lord is coming back with vengeance, all right? Who is a so-called black man, by the way, so-called Negro, so you can understand, all right? So he's coming with a lot of uh, uh, animosity, all right? When he comes to visit, a, visit, visit the earth, all right? The Heavenly Father and His Son are warlords, all right? So, hey, you know, hey, what they say, every, every, Every knee shall bow. You know what I'm saying? You don't bow to a weak, you know, power or entity. You bow to someone that's superior than you. You know, even in this carnal world. You know what I'm saying? When you see, you know, Jake, you know, might get into scraps. You know what I'm saying? If one is overpowering the other, you know, one will bow down. Like, you got it. Like, you got it. You got me. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you got it. You got the upper hand. You know what I'm saying? With Jacob, you know, beating, beating the brakes off Esau. You know what I'm saying? You hear, you know, the white boy, you know, he'll, he'll bow down. You know what I'm saying? Because, hey, you you giving, you, you're revering, you know, that, hey, so, someone got the upper hand on you. So how much more the Heavenly Father and His Son? You know, you're going to bow down when, when that power, okay, visits the earth. Right? Hey, everybody going to fold. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people have heart attacks because it's going to be a frightening, you know, day. All right? But um, this is Isaiah 63 and 1. It says, Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Bosra, that it, this that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength? Right? The Heavenly Father and His Son is coming with supreme power, supreme energy. All right? That this world hasn't felt in a long time. All right? It's going to be intense, to say the least. All right? It says, I that speak in righteousness mighty to say wherefore out thy red and thy apparel and thy garments like him that treadeth so like you for that let's see yeah that tre like him that treadeth in the wine fat you know so <laughs> hey man the, 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 Lord, the Lord gonna get busy you know what I'm saying I, 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 it's gonna be a lot of blood spilling in these streets by the hands of Yahweh Shai himself Right by the hands of the, of the holy angels, you know, because hey, the Lord, hey, he got a lot of paying back to do. He got to pay back those two Roman soldiers, soldiers that pierced them. You know what I'm saying? Two thirds of our people that's doing wickedly and that 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 don't want to adhere, all right, to the the, the ways, the, the laws, the statutes, the commandments of the heavenly Father. All right, hey, our people gonna get judged for that. All right, for all the other nations that's camped, that's you know come against the nation of Israel, you know, look down upon, all right, the true Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latin and Native Americans, right? Those nations are going to be judged as well, you know? It says, I have tried the white press alone, and of the people there was none with me, for I will tread them in my anger and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my raiment. So, hey, that, that sounds like a power that's about warfare. You know what I'm saying? You don't get your, get you know, <laughs> blood on your garment from hugging somebody, from giving somebody a high five, from shaking their hand. You get, you do, you, uh, you, uh, you know, you get blood in your garment by way of, you know, bloodshed, you know, warfare. You know what I'm saying? Slinging a sword or something, you know, fighting, i.e., basically. You know, that's how you get blood on your garment. You know what I'm saying? Which, again, happens through warfare. Hey, Esau been at war for, what they say, like a hundred and, I don't know if it was like 70 or 80-something years. And every time he go to fight, what happens? You know, a lot of a lot of bodies are laid down. 
you know, whether of the opposing force or even of his own men, right? A lot of, you know, limbs get, you know, getting chopped off, shot off, you know what I'm saying? People die, you know, by, by way of, you know, going through the battle. So, hey, hey, man, hey, how much more are the Heavenly Father and the Son, you know? They're going to be spilling blood out here, rightfully so, right? It says, for the day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year of my redeemed is come. come. So, hey, the Lord is, is patiently waiting, just like we're patiently waiting. When I say we, I'm talking about, you know, the hopeful elect, because we don't know if we're the elect or not, but we hope to be, right? For those that's, that has some, you know, uh, like-minded spirits, you know, we look forward, all right, to um, retaliating for recompensing, you know, our enemies for what they did to us, all right? That's judgment, that, or rather, that's justice, should I say. You know, you have this incident, all right, going on with, uh, you know, the George Floyd scenario with this Edomite, you know, uh, basically murdered, okay, his brother Jacob, right, being George Floyd murdered him, all right, for the whole world to see mind you, all right, and, um, you know, you know, even though, you know, we we know and understand this is not our time to retaliate, but, you know, things like that, you know, it, it gets your blood boiling, you know, it gets you hot in your spirit, you know, but, hey, you know, we're going to do what the scriptures say, which is wait on the Heavenly Father, Zephaniah 3 and 8, you know, hell, I get that real quick, you know, because, uh, That's the one thing you can't say, you know, we just push the word of the Heavenly Father. You know, we don't we don't um advocate, okay, violence in the sense of uh taking up arms, okay, in this society and coming against Esau. We, we know that's a losing battle. Right? But when the Heavenly Father and his son do return to the earth, best to know, hey, it's gonna be a judgment being all right, being passed out. You know what I'm saying? Hey, what do he say? And I'll get that, you know, that basically hey, Israel is the battle is of, of the Heavenly Father. All right. So, hey, we're going to have joy. OK. Retaliating against our enemies, our enemies, you know, being the hopeful elect. All right. Uh, but real quick, this is Zephaniah 3 and 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith Yahweh, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger. Now that's warfare talk, right? For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. So, hey, hey, the Lord is hot in the spirit. You know what I'm saying? When Jay say I'm fired up, you know what I'm saying? Hey, the Lord is fired up, bro. You know, he, he not letting these Edomites slide, all right, even though it may look like that, it may appear that way, but hey, the Heavenly Father is just letting Esau basically sink himself, you know, Esau is shooting himself in the foot by way of, you know, coming down hard on his brother Jacob by breaking the brotherly covenant, desiring to slay us, desiring to have us, you know, microchip, to have us basically turn our back on the heavenly father and the hopeful elect is not going to do that period point blank you know we just going to wait we're going to sit on our hands and wait all right because we know that day is coming we know it's near all right so you know maybe i do another another part to this video but that's all i want to bring out right now i mean we can bring out scriptures for days you know on, on the heavenly father exemplifying the fact that he's a, a man of war, all right? But, hey, Lord, you know, Lord willing, this was edifying. The, the point was, you know, driven home. And, uh, hey, what you think about the Heavenly Father is, is a misconception, all right? What you think you know about the the, the Most High, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, all right, it's a misconception. Christianity has told you a bold-faced lie, all right? The Heavenly Father and Son is so-called black men, and they coming back to retaliate and judge the earth. All right. So with that, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Kakadash, the bodies of the prophets and the elders, a great millstone that rule well. 
Peace to say, to the alchemist, pushing this word and truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom.